Hello, Covenant Church. I want to give you a quick update regarding our plans for reopening for worship. Our plan as of today is to reopen for worship on Sunday, June 7th, which we're really excited about. Of course, it's not going to be normal because we're going to be taking some precautions so that as many people who join us for worship feel safe in joining us for worship. And that means that uh, some of you are going to think that uh, we are being way too cautious with the ways in which we're reopening. Others are going to think we're way too open and not having enough restrictions. Uh, we understand that. And so we're asking you to be patient with us and patient with one another. And as your pastor, I would even encourage you to look over Ephesians chapter 4, the beginning of that chapter, and search, search your own heart for what Paul is calling us to as those who need to walk in a manner worthy of the gospel. That we would bear with one another with patience, that we would do it with humility, with gentleness, that we would seek the unity that we have in the Spirit. In fact, that we would be eager to express the unity and the bond of peace that we have in the Spirit. So, we have a few details to share with you right now, and there are many others that we are still working through that we will share with you as we get closer to June 7th. Here's what we have so far. First of all, as I mentioned, we are planning to start on June 7th with our regular morning services, 8.30 and 11 o'clock. We need to limit the number of people at each service to 80. That allows us to practice social distancing as well as adhere to St. Louis County guidelines for church gatherings. And to manage those numbers, we will be asking you to RSVP in some form or fashion. We're also thinking about creating an overflow space in the fellowship hall with a live stream of the service that's going on or adding a third service, a third morning service. We're not sure which we're going to do just yet. Secondly, we will be asking you to help us create a self safe environment for everybody. And that means making use of hand sanitizing stations at the entrances, following directions in and out of the building, wearing a mask. If you don't have one or forget to bring one, we'll have some on hand for you to use and take with you. And of course, all of us need to continue to do what we have been doing, practice social distancing. Thirdly, um, morning worship will be the only activity happening on the church campus on Sunday, at least for now. Uh, there's not going to be any Sunday evening service on campus, not yet anyway, no nursery, no children's ministry, youth ministry, Sunday school, all those things we're used to. We're just not quite there to bring those back yet. We will continue to provide those things online as we have children's ministry, youth ministry, Zoom, prayer meetings and Bible studies, etc. And that brings me to my last point. We are going to continue to offer virtual worship for the foreseeable future. We recognize that even with reasonable precautions in place, some of you just aren't ready to come back to church. And that's fine. We completely understand and support your decision. And we want to continue to serve you online as best we can. I should also add that we recognize there are some of you who shouldn't come back to corporate worship just yet, especially those with underlying health conditions or those who are 65 years or older. We will leave that decision to you, but we want to help you make that decision by providing excellent online resources, including ongoing virtual worship, should you choose to stay home. Well, there you have it. Those are the basics. There's obviously more we need to share with you. I've said already, these plans are subject to change. So uh, please keep your eye out for the weekly email that goes out on Thursday. Check out our church website for the latest updates, social media updates. That's where you're going to find the latest information for you as we prepare to be together again. Well, as different as worship is going to be for a while, I'm still looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Uh, I've missed you. We've missed each other. And I look forward to having you back at Covenant. Stay safe and stay encouraged in the hope we all have in Jesus.